I truly don't know how to start this right now. <laughs> I have replayed sitting in front of a camera in my head for about 365 days and I am just, I still don't know what's the first thing I should, like what do I say? I'm definitely not gonna say hi friends welcome back, okay? Cause I've been the shittiest friend. The shittiest friend. Actually my first big update just woke up so please hold. Let us welcome for the first time on my channel my son <laughs> Leo if you guys don't follow me on Instagram you would have never seen this face this is my son he is 11 months old and I'm pretty sure one of the last videos that I posted on my channel was the get ready with me for my baby shower when I was like seven months pregnant with him and he's 11 months old so like I really dropped the ball on that one hi Leo oh he's so handsome <laughs> hmm Mwah, thank you. Him and Alana together, the highest maintenance duo that you will ever meet, okay? They just, they're so needy, and it's, it's been difficult if you can't tell. Hey. Mwah. Mm -hmm. So really the main reason that I was out for so long or I didn't film videos for so long, um, it's not just because I have you know, two kids and a full-time job and it's extremely difficult for me to find the time to do this. That all is true, but that's not really the main reason. Um, after I had Leo, I developed the craziest postpartum depression that like I, I didn't even know was possible. I obviously have another child <laughs> And I never experienced any type of depression, any type of baby boot, like nothing. It was like I had her and I was back to normal a week later. Like it's like nothing even happened to me. Um, and I kind of thought it was going to be the exact same way this time around. And it super was not. I felt like me as a person like Katie not Katie the mother just Katie disappeared I just felt like the only thing I was good for was taking care of my kids and I didn't have the drive I guess or motivation to do much else I I mean I didn't ever want to get dressed before having Leo or like do my makeup or anything because I was exhausted and then once I had him it just got that much worse and of course it doesn't help that we went into lockdown in March and Leo was born February 24th I truly and honestly still feel like some level of depression um, and I don't know I don't know, I mean, Leo's almost a year old. Like, does that even count as postpartum depression anymore? I don't know. Um, like, at what age does postpartum depression go away? I don't know. I, I think it's hard sometimes to remember, like, being a parent doesn't, this is something I was telling a friend of mine earlier today, actually. Being a parent doesn't mean you stop being a person. And before I had two kids, <laughs> I had plenty of other things that brought joy to my life. And those things definitely need to carry over and they haven't been at all and I recognize that and I've been in such a slump just in general like I don't I don't want to do anything I don't want to do anything I'm not kidding you in the year of 2020 which is the reason I will not be doing a favorites video for 2020 um, I probably did my makeup like five times maybe six times my confidence in 2020 took probably the biggest especially like my self-esteem wise I guess took the biggest hit that I think it's ever taken let me do my eyebrows because I cannot focus on my eyebrows plus talking at the same time so please hold brows are about as even as they're gonna be okay my brows are like it's my least favorite thing to do it's just like they never look good I barely know what I'm doing whatsoever. My brow routine hasn't changed in about ever. So 
I just, you know, we're just, we just gonna pretend that we don't look at them. I have always, always, always had pretty high self-esteem. Um, and it really didn't matter what the, what the case was. So like, um, for example, after, like once I started dating my now husband, both of us gained lots of weight. Okay. We gained lots of weight, but my self-esteem was always there. I knew what was happening, but I was having a good time. I didn't care. I thought I still looked good and it just never ever bothered me. You know, like I was kind of just like, yeah, I'm fat, but huh, whatever. I hadn't lost really any baby weight. Like I had Leo and I expected myself to go back to whatever. Like I wasn't eating like an animal while I was pregnant. And obviously my body was like, good joke, but we're gonna keep this for a little while. It's gotten better because I've actually been losing weight Right now, I weigh less than I weighed before I got pregnant with Alana, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. This is the pile that I'm gonna use right now, by the way, and I'm so excited. So, point of the story is I wasn't feeling good about myself, plus I had, you know, postpartum depression, have, whatever. Um, so I didn't, like, filming, getting on camera in front of, I don't know, really not that many people, I don't get that many views, but <laughs> it just wasn't something that I was, I was interested in you know another thing that really affected my self-esteem now that I literally just looked at it is my hair <laughs> I know like you guys are so sick of me talking about my hair I don't I don't know I don't know if I talk about it on camera as much as I talk about it in real life but I talk about it a lot in real life like if you are if you know me you're probably like I obviously cut my hair extremely short I'm sure you guys are aware okay I had a really like buzz basically well, like buzzed majority of my head and then the top was like a little fluff. <laughs> I don't know what I would call that. It was a pixie cut, but like it was extremely short for a pixie cut. Um, I loved that haircut, okay? I, I loved that haircut. I honestly thought I was just gonna be like a bald bee for the rest of my life. I feel like there is so much pressure on what a woman's hair looks like and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> so that's why basically I cut my hair off. I felt like I was just sick of it. Like I always had, I have like extreme like curly hair, which obviously you can't tell today, but you will be able to tell very soon. You just hold on, you just wait. I always felt like nobody accepted curly hair naturally. Like even when I went to school, I went to a school that was not extremely diverse, we'll say. We'll just say that, not extremely diverse. I pretty much was one of the only people, I guess, who had naturally curly hair. Everybody else has had like extremely straight hair naturally. Um, and it was actually even an ongoing joke at some point, like talking about my natural hair, like how I'd rather have greasy hair than have, you know, naturally curly hair. And like, you know, it was like, it was just a joke. You know, obviously when I said it right there, that wasn't funny, but it was a joke. I was just going to the salon every single week. And if I didn't go to the salon, like I just didn't wash my hair because leaving my hair curly to me was just never an option. Then I started getting really, really annoyed, okay? really annoyed with having to go to the hair salon and so I started leaving my hair naturally curly and as you can imagine after years and years and years of straightening my hair as much as I did my curls they were ugly I've always liked pixie cuts so I kind of just went for it and said I'm, I'm gonna do a pixie cut and that's just what's my life is gonna be right now I didn't want to have hair anymore and I didn't and it was beautiful for a really long time until I got bored and then I decided I was gonna grow it out. Now let me tell you something. When people talk about pixies and growing them out and how it's like super awkward and all that, they're not lying. While I was growing out my pixie, I used I was wearing wigs and I know that you could tell I was wearing wigs. Even though I was very like, I wasn't trying to hide it whatsoever. Like it was, it was very clear. Um, but my wigs did not look good, okay? They did not, they did like good. I mean, I didn't know what I was doing. This was the first time I was ever wearing a wig. You know what? Leave me alone. I never claimed to be good at doing hair. Actually, I claimed quite the opposite. I can't even straighten my own hair. This is my hair, by the way. This is my, I, I didn't say that, but this is like growing out of my scalp. Look at that. Look at how, look at how long it is. I don't know if you could tell, but. All right, it's not that long. To like most people, this is like super short, but I was like a baldy, okay? I am happy with this. That awkward stage. I would say extra applies if you have curly hair, okay? Because my hair, I know you guys saw 
Like, especially in my Get Ready With Me video for my baby shower, where I, like, I did have my, like, natural hair out before I put my wig on. No. No, my man. I have seen people grow out their pixies, and the whole entire time, they are, like, stunning. And I'm just... Why did I look like a loaf of bread? I don't know. But I did. Now my hair is finally at a point where, like, I can wear it. Like, this is my hair. I can wear my hair. I don't have to worry about, like, my, you know, wig or whatever. I do like my curls so much more now than I did before. And I wear my hair curly all the time. Like I said, this is the second time that I have straightened my hair in the last two years. And I don't, like, after this, I don't plan on doing it for a little bit. Like, I kind of, like... I need to sit down and take a break. I feel, or I have felt, uncomfortable leaving my hair curly in, like, in videos. And even still now, if I do my makeup and my hair is curly, like, something just doesn't feel right. Like, it just feels like I'm missing something. It feels like something is incomplete. I kind of need to just get myself out of that mindset. Because when I see other people with curly hair, I'm like... Bitch. But then when I have my curly hair, I'm just like, no, no, go do something, go fix yourself, etc., etc. This is the chromium liquid eyeshadow by Natasha Denona. I don't think I like this. But anyway, I just feel like if, you know, if when I was a kid, I saw lots of people with curly hair or like went to a school where there were lots of people with curly hair or like whatever the case is. I just wouldn't feel like this today. And on top of that, my mom used to straighten my hair. My mom would not let me leave the house if my hair was not straight. Like, please. That's a joke. My daughter and my son, on the other hand, have the straightest, silkiest hair I've ever seen. And I'm just like, what? How did you obtain? I mean, I know how, you know, their dad straight hair. Like, I need to just embrace what I have and just get over it and stop being a little girl about it. And that's it. That's it. For me, 2020 was the year of the tattoo. I got so many tattoos in 2020. I did get a half sleeve. You can see like a little bit. I'm not gonna roll this up. I got a half sleeve, okay? Just believe me. Um, I got this little one over here. I got this one over here. I got some more that are like over here that you can't really see. And I plan on getting uh, some more. I just um, love them. I have one that I'm trying to get covered up and I plan on not wearing any short sleeve shirts because it's over here. So, did you see that jiggle? Did you see it? I have a tattoo that I hated immediately after I got it and, you know, I just, I'm finally getting it covered up. I had always been one, like a type of person who would admire things, kind of like a short haircut, for example, on other people, but then be like, oh no, no, never me. I could never do that. Like because I could never pull it off in my in my head. Um, getting a half sleeve was one of those things. Something that I'm like a strong believer in, even though I don't apply it to myself as often as I should, obviously. But I'm a strong believer that you can pull off whatever you think you can pull off. I used to go to work with green lipstick on and the girls there would go crazy about it. They'd be like, oh my god, you look so good in green lipstick. Like, I wish that I could wear green lipstick. And I'd be like, and why the hell can't you? Why can't, like, what makes me different from you? I feel like this melt eyeliner used to be more matte. Or at least I remember it incorrectly, maybe. I'm gonna try to, like... Is this getting better? Siblings who share rooms. Someone someone explain to me how your kids share a room. If they have shared since they've been little or like how this goes. Because Alana and Leo have been sharing a room, which I recently redid by the way, and it looks I'm not trying to my own horn, but it looks good. They share a room and Leo is not a good sleeper, okay? He is, oh, he is my perfect little angel, but Jesus Christ, can he go to sleep at night? Please. He wakes up in the middle of the night, at least once a night, sometimes twice, 
and just cries. Most of the time, it's all he really wants is to, like, he stands up in the crib and then starts crying. All he really wants is for us to come, put him to lay down, and then leave. And he's usually okay with that. And it's really goddamn annoying. The reason we don't just let him cry in the crib and just like, like, please, you can lay down yourself, leave me alone, is because he obviously shares a room with Alana. And if he don't go to sleep, a lot of them go to sleep. I am like 40 minutes and oh and um I am very like usually against kids sleeping in my my room in my bed. I mean I don't care. You guys do it. I know a lot of people do it and I don't really care. Um but I personally am not interested. Like I don't want my kids to be in my room. I don't want them like I see you all day. Can I have a minute? That's it, that's it, that's what I'm leaving it as um, that's it. I'm not touching it anymore. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care that it looks incredibly unblended. Um, well, looks like a year has passed, but I still don't know how to pick my foundation. I mean, concealer color. Uh, not that I'm not great at foundation either, but <laughs> I think I'm definitely better at picking my foundation than picking my concealer. But I think I will never, ever just, I will, I will never be able to pick my freaking concealer color. I thought, you know, maybe this would be the year of growth, but I guess not, you know? So I feel like a, a big factor in me not coming back to YouTube was YouTube. Um, YouTube is, is different. YouTube is different and I think it's noticeable, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'm in the minority. I don't like, I don't like the changes that, and I don't mean YouTube as like YouTube. I just mean like the beauty videos that are being put out today versus what used to be put out that's like that's what i'm gathering not the actual website youtube <laughs> i'm a makeup tutorial kind of a person i i like first impressions i like reviews i i, I like it i love hauls oh, I love hauls. but and favorites i love favorites but like nobody else does. I do want you guys to tell me what are the kind of videos that you like to watch because regardless, like, you are my audience. So I would like to, as long as I don't feel super uncomfortable doing, you know, a specific video, like I would like to do what you guys like to watch. As long as it's not something that I just am like 100% completely against type of a thing. Another thing that I just feel like I want to talk about. There are far too many makeup releases. Like if I see something like a product or a launch or something like that, that looks intriguing to me or like really sparks my interest, like I'm gonna buy it. I, I like to buy what piques my interest um and i am very bad with fomo i just feel like i always have to be spending money on more makeup and it's just like why 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 you know what i'm saying first of all i shouldn't have to feel that way and second of all i mean this is obviously this is a me problem like i'm not saying this isn't anybody else problem but a me problem but it's just i just feel like there is so much coming out right now and it's just like like why? I don't know if I'm making any type of sense. I might just be like a whiny little bitch right now, but it's bothering me. I know nobody is contouring anymore, okay? I feel like I have not heard the word contour on YouTube since like my 10th birthday, but I'm still contouring, okay? The way that my face is set up, I can't stop. If you guys can't tell, by the way, I'm sure you can tell, but I do have like a new little something behind me, you know? It's not, I don't know. It's, I don't know. Okay, I asked you guys on Instagram, which like I said, you should be following me there if you're not. I asked you guys so many questions on there because like I said, I'm a Libra. I cannot make decisions for myself to save my life. So I asked you guys on Instagram, I did a little poll and asked you if you like more solid backdrops. Once I kind of decided that I was gonna come back to YouTube, by the way, I asked you guys if you like more solid backdrops or if you like more homey backdrops. I know what I like. But I still wanna know what you guys like. I personally like more homey backdrops. And um, apparently so do you guys because I think it was like 68 or something percent of you guys said that you like homey 
background better than just like a solid backdrop um so I just kept just kept doing what I do you know I just kind of fixed it up a little bit I threw a freaking blanket on my dresser this is my dresser and I just threw a blanket over it because like how much cute it's like 20,000 times cuter with a fucking blanket over it, okay don't lie to me you know it's cuter I actually ended up doing something like this for one of the kids like photo shoots it was when Leo was born it wasn't a white bat um a white one it was like I think a gray blanket but it was fuzzy and I was like what that is salt <laughs> I was like blown away I thought that was the cutest thing ever so yes I do have 95 chins by the way in case you're like why has she been blending her chin for like 19 hours like I gotta hide my chins okay I don't know how perfect your face is but mine is not and I thought it was so cute so I was like um I should do that with my YouTube so I kind of had that in the back of my mind for whenever I decided to come back if I even decided to come back um which I really wasn't sure if I was or not and um I think it's super cute and then I just threw some random other stuff on there some plants you know I got I got some lips which I actually picked these up before I actually stopped making videos and I just never ended up putting them there if that makes sense until afterwards I like stopped doing YouTube and then I was like should I put the, these lips in my backdrop <laughs> I guess by the way I know that like everyone is doing very minimal makeup like soft glam foxy glam blah, blah, blah. i'm super not into it and <laughs> i don't mean i'm super not into it like i would never do that kind of makeup that's not that's not what i mean whatsoever what i mean by that let me just fix my butt real quick <laughs> what i mean by that is that's just not like if i have the option to either watch somebody do soft glam or watch somebody do some crazy like cut crease with like glitter and 27 colors in the crease like I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick the cut crease with the glitter and the, I'm gonna pick that if I have the option to wear soft glam or that second thing that I described that I already don't remember all the words I used I'm gonna pick the second thing <laughs> I mean like, like like I'm not going anywhere but yeah this is what I'm this is what I'm wearing. This is the makeup I'm doing. I don't like this color on my nose. I don't, but I'm just going to keep living my life because that's that's kind of the theme of today. I don't like my makeup, but I'm just going to keep living my life. I picked up this blush from NARS, which I'm like 100% sure is in the wrong color because I did it by accident. But it is in the shade Punta Cana, and I'm very happy about that because I am, if you didn't know, I am Dominican, and Punta Cana is in Dominican Republic. You know what? That's not that bad. Obviously it looks dark for my for my face, but like <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I think most of the bronzers that I use are too dark for my face. Also, I'm pretty sure this one has shimmer in it. Okay. Yeah, that's dark. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yep. We all got COVID. And uh, by all I mean literally every single person in my family and literally every single person in Elvis family and every like everybody. We just all got COVID. All of us. We basically just got over it although Alana still, I guess has it she tested positive like three or four days ago so I'm assuming she probably still has it everyone got it except her and we were like oh my god we must keep this child safe and I think we did like everything we could have possibly done to separate a three-year-old from her family but I mean she's three like she needs her family like <laughs> was she gonna go feed herself I don't think so you want to say hi mm -hmm. yeah look who has joined us Wow, hi. What's your name? Uh, Alana. Alana. How old are you? Do you know? Mommy. No, no, mommy. How old are you? Um, three. Say three. No, say it. Say I'm three. I'm Can you blow a kiss? I don't know how I completely forgot about breastfeeding as a topic. But we're gonna talk about breastfeeding. And if you don't wanna talk about breastfeeding, you know what I'm saying? You don't gotta be here for this part. Yo was born in February and I stopped pumping. And I, yes, I pumped. I didn't actually breastfeed. Even though pr pumping is breastfeed, but I didn't nurse, if, if that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. So I breastfed Leo until November. So February to November, what is that like? Too many months for me to count? <laughs> Eight months? Nope. 10 months? No. 
10 months? <laughs> it's nine months, it's nine months, okay. So I breastfed for nine months. You know, I have a whole degree in math, okay? A whole bachelor's in math, and I can't figure out that that's nine months. I just don't even, please don't listen to me. That ish is a lot of work. Oh my God, that ish is a lot of work. Like I used to bring my pump with me, like if I was gonna go get braids, for example, I would go get my bra my box braids and I would have my pump with me and I would literally just be sitting there in the chair pumping while, you know, I would pump no matter what. I don't care. I didn't care what time of day it was. Like if I had to pump, like if I'm in front of 27 people, like I'm sorry, 27 people, but you're about to see me pump. If you have a problem with that, you can exit stage left. I'm not interested. I only pumped with Alana for five months and the only reason it was only five months is because I barely made any milk. I didn't make a lot of milk at all. So, at, you know, at some point, I just thought to myself, like, is it worth, like, probably less than half of her milk, like, what she drank came from me. So, I just thought to myself, you know, it's just not worth it. With Leo, I didn't go in expecting to do it for longer than, like, a couple of months. And I ended up being an overproducer and making so much milk. I used to make at least 50 ounces a day, which if you don't know, um, babies usually drink 30 ounces, usually, obviously it varies, um, but they usually drink 30 ounces or even less. Um, Leo was drinking uh, probably a little bit less than that, maybe like 28 or something. Um, so I, that's why I said I'm gonna go as long as I possibly can because, you know, that's all he drank for pretty much his whole life. He still is only drinking that. I obviously stopped pumping in November, but because I made so much extra milk, I had so much frozen milk, and that's what he is drinking now. There's so much that you can do when you're breastfeeding because you basically have to be either attached to your baby so that you can feed him or her or attached to a pump. And it's just, it's a real pain in the ass. I just feel like there's so much pressure that says you need to breastfeed you don't yes breast milk is like the most beneficial for them but listen leo is 11 months old and he has drank about three ounces of formula in his entire life he gets sick more than alana has ever gotten sick in her three years and she drank probably three ounces of breast milk her entire life okay so it really is not that deep a lot of people i mean i did post on instagram a lot about my like milk production when I was breastfeeding and like what I have left in the freezer now which is really not that much I honestly don't think I'm gonna last or it's gonna last until his first birthday I posted a lot and a lot of you guys were like oh my god like what did you do how did you get your milk production up like that like I truly and honestly did not do anything special besides pump eight times a day I pumped eight times a day if I could fit, sometimes I would do nine, sometimes I would do 10. I've never done more than 10. I don't know how anybody possibly could do that. But I pumped like crazy. I did recently make a Twitter and not, not really, like technically I already had a Twitter. I could not get through that sentence. Did you hear the struggle? I already had a Twitter. I just didn't use it ever, ever. I mean, I still am very just like, why is Twitter a thing? I don't get. I don't get it, like I'd much rather post something on Instagram, but I know all the cool kids have Twitter, so I said, let me go get a Twitter, oh yeah. So sometimes like if I have a random update, I'll throw it on there, or like something I'm just randomly thinking, I will throw it on there, but I forget it exists. I don't know how to use it. I don't even know who I'm following. I don't know anything about Twitter. So, I mean, you guys can follow me if you want. It's the Katie Danger, just like everything else social media wise it's lip time but i have like butthole lips and i have like highlighter on my nose hair right now i know you guys know i have a thing i don't know if you know but i have a thing for lip pencils okay i need all the perfect nude lip pencils that i could possibly find it's so hard i think honestly the reason it's so hard is because my top lip is like significantly darker than my bottom lip i don't know if you could tell See, for me, obviously everybody's different. For me, this is still a little light. I'm probably gonna end up putting a, oh my God, my lips are gross. Yeah, okay, so remember when I said I wasn't a gloss girl? 
I'm still not a gloss girl. But we're gonna have to we're gonna have to put a gloss because like this is disgusting. You can literally and it's not because of the lipstick. Actually, KKW Beauty has one of my favorite lipstick formulas ever, along with their lip liners. You can just see how fucking gross my lips are. Okay. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you try. This is the one, okay? This is it. Don't even. No. No. Don't even. <laughs> what the? F How's that? You tell me that's been in my hair this whole time and we're fighting. We're fighting. What even is that? Oh my god, that was a spray of the. <laughs> I hate myself. I do. I really do. Okay, guys. So that is it for this ridiculously chatty TMI get ready with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so like just to be saying this outro right now. It just makes me feel so good inside. And I have to say thank you so much to everybody who messaged me on Instagram. I got even on Snapchat, which I like barely even use anymore, ever since I discovered Instagram stories on like Snapchat, who she. So many people messaged me on Instagram asking me when I'm coming back, telling me that they missed my videos, and I legitimately could not feel more just like, I don't even know what the word is, grateful. Like my heart is so warm and full that you guys even like care about my videos and are, are like wondering where I am. And I hope that that doesn't sound like too cheesy or just like, like anybody would say that. But like I truly like, truly am so grateful that like you guys even care at all, like at all. Thank you guys again for watching this. Literally, if you made it to the end of this video, like you're amazing. I don't know how you have the patience because I don't. So thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video, which hopefully will be very soon and not in one year. Bye.